Hi, my name is Haley. I'm 20 years old. I'm a bio major at RIT and I was last year's winner of Little Brother RIT, which was a similar competition. And even though that one didn't make it to production, I'm really excited for this season because I think it's going to be so much better and so much more exciting. Last season was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed being one of the only girls, but hopefully this year the girls won't take away too much of the shine. Um, I have some props from last year. This is my bishop crown. It's the first competition. I wear it proudly every day. Just kidding. That would be weird. This is a masterpiece. Um, this lost me a competition, but I came really close to winning. <laughs> As you can see. It really is a piece of art. It's one of a kind. I probably will put this on eBay afterwards to sell to my fans, but these are the banners for my winning day. I will hang them up one day in my shrine. This is the piece that uh, contestant AJ, if he had won this competition, I would have gone home, but thank God he couldn't figure it out. It was like a 10 piece puzzle, I don't even know. Oh, this was when the first week we got assigned partners and I got assigned this really, really good looking guy. Come to find out he was gay, but whatever. One thing I learned from last season, most definitely, is that you can come in with the best game plan ever, but it really comes down to luck. Um, it's about 5% skill, 5% personality, and then 90% luck. I had to check my math there. Oh my god. This season, I'm definitely going in with a better game plan. I'm not going to be as quick to make alliances because that kind of stabs you in the back when you have to betray them because I will betray them. That's what I do. I'm definitely going to focus on making sure I come across as innocent because I do not want them to know that I've already won this game. That would be very bad. Definitely my biggest target is going to be getting people like me out because when's the last time you saw a big burly dude win a competition that all strength? That's not the biggest target. That's the hugest mistake people make in reality competitions. My target is going to be the people who think. I'm definitely a big fan of reality television. It's not something I like to tell people because, you know, I get judged a little bit. I definitely am 100% caught up with the Kardashians, let's be honest. I watch a lot of competition reality shows like Big Brother. I'm not big on Survivor because, you know, they're rolling around in dirt and stuff and just, no. I am definitely looking forward to what kind of cast members we're going to have. Um, I would say the person I'm going to align myself with is somebody that is more on the friendly side like me so that we won't be a big of a target but I don't want them to have the same game strategy as me um, I don't want to be disposable I don't want someone to be like me um, so I'm probably gonna go for someone who's really stupid people that I do not want on the show are going to be sweet little girls that are 100% innocent because that is my role and let's be honest there's not enough room for both of us oh I forgot Mr. Moo he was like the most important part. This is Mr. Moo, I found him! Oh my God, he was my buddy the entire show. I have no idea why, but I just brought him one day. <sighs> Mr. Moo, you'll be seeing a lot of him, guaranteed. Oh my God, he's my good luck charm. This is how I won. And as you can see, he's all dressed up for the finale of last year, so. He's probably going to still wear this tux. Well, no, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should change it up. Not sure. Ah! So me and Mr. Moo are ready to take on the challenge. Um, I'm definitely nervous for any eating competitions. I'm hoping that that won't be the case because that was my downfall before. I don't do well with those. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get going. And I think it's going to be really awesome. And so see you soon.